My name is Rachel Jenkins and I'm a nurse practitioner here at the Southeast Health Campus Clinic. This has always been my dream to come back here and work, whether it was for nursing or as a nurse practitioner. My mom actually worked here as a nurse uh, many years whenever I was younger and I got to come up here and I always thought it was the neatest thing. So I'm, I, I love being here. I love coming to work every day and the students and faculty and staff are a lot of fun. My name is Andrew Marler. I am a junior here at Southeast. I'm studying Agricultural Systems Management and I'm from Imperial, Missouri, just south of St. Louis. Uh, I'm Lam Mei Hu, uh, from middle part of China, and I'm studying my uh, master's degree of TESOL, teaching English to students of other languages. My name is uh, Jagannath, and I'm from Malaysia, and I'm studying uh, commercial photography here, and I'm a senior. Hi, my name is Leslie Brooks. I am a track athlete here at Southeast Missouri State University. I am becoming a senior, and I major in exercise physiology, and I'm from St. Louis, Missouri. Typically, we treat students for anything from a cold, sore throat, cough, uh, musculoskeletal issues such as back pain, neck pain, injuries of any sort, like minor injuries such as like I twisted my ankle. We do keep stuff here for that as well, like ace bandages you may need. We have crutches that students can rent out essentially for two weeks and then they just have to bring them back or else we'll just charge our student account $25. We also see students for wellness visits such as pap smear screening for females and prescribing birth control. Also we do STD testing and treatment along with just treatment if for possible exposure. We also have free condoms for any students who want them one pack a week. And then we also do allergy shots, say if you were getting allergy shots at home you can bring that serum here and we can store that for you and we will give the allergy shots per the allergist orders. And that's a mutual agreement we have between us, the allergist and the student. We also do immunizations. We do any kind of labs they may need. Even if it's an outside order, we can do that as well. So a lot of times students may have a doctor back at home who's monitoring a chronic condition and they come in, bring a lab set. We can draw that right here. We can order x-rays. You know, I can write any kind of prescriptions that aren't controlled. And we also work really well with our counseling services here on campus. And if they feel like they need something for, like a student may need something for anxiety, depression, OCD, um, things like that of that nature, I can provide that service as well. So that could be helpful at times. In addition to seeing students, you know, traditionally people think this is more just for students. Well, we actually see faculty and staff as well. The majority of the time it's more for you know, they're having a cough or cold, sore throat, they try to call their doctor, they can't get him. We'll take care of you here. Just come on down, you don't have to miss work, but 30 minutes. Um, sometimes we're even walking distance or just a few flights down for some people. So we take care of them for any kind of thing we would take care of for our students. I'm here in the clinic every week for my allergy shots. Um, I usually spend about 30 minutes here every time, maybe a little bit longer depending on how busy they are. A few months back, I had an anaphylactic reaction to my allergy shots. Um, so I get the allergy shots for severe allergies and I come in once a week. I've never had a reaction before. So I wasn't really expecting it. I don't think any of us really were. Um, it was just a normal shot, normal day. I started having reactions such as like stomach issues and I've never had that before. I just figured it was because I hadn't eaten all day. They immediately made sure I could breathe and checked my heart rate, checked my blood pressure, all of that. And then they went into making sure that I had epi, um, injected epi in me and other um, steroids to make sure that I was going to be stable. Then they monitored me for an hour and um, directed me to other medical attention if I needed it. Um, I usually attend the clinic for a lot of wellness checkups. It's very well needed for myself. I don't usually get sick as much so I don't usually come here and use the clinic for like sickness purposes like colds and flus and things like that. I come to the clinic here once in a week to get my blood pressure checked. I, I was diagnosed with high blood pressure uh, a couple years ago. It all started when I just came in here with a fever and uh, uh, they got my blood pressure checked. That's a, a, a like, uh, normal procedure, they get a blood pressure check, oxygen level, and then Rachel noticed that my blood pressure was pretty high and then I, maybe thought it was just a fever. And then I came in a week later and it was still high and then Rachel immediately, immediately 
uh, did a few tests, did P tests, and then referred me to the hospital. We did the EKG and uh, got my blood drawn, and then did also did an ultrasound for my kidney. Well, I think it's pretty convenient because uh, most of my courses will be taken in the uh, Grove building. So the clinic is very close to the Grove building, close to the uh, library, since everybody will go to the library every day, right? And also close to the academic hall. So having the campus clinic, it's really convenient. Um, it's within walking distance from my house. It's about a minute drive from where I live over here on campus. Uh, it's really nice to have in case I get sick or I have an allergy issue. I can just come here and if, if they're open, I can pretty much be seen. Having um, Miss Rachel uh, as like the RN or the nurse practitioner, sorry about that. And so I like love her as that and she's amazing. They have been great help as well as like even with the building situation, like it's very good to know that that I was able to receive assistance. Um, so it's a really fun environment. Um, you know, sometimes they are, there are serious times where it's, you know, they're super busy and everything is very serious. But other times, you know, if there's no other patients here or there's very few, everyone here is just fun. They're outgoing, they want to talk, they like to get to know us. Um, they ask what we're doing that week and, you know, they're just a fun inviting group. I will let them know that the staff here are very friendly, very helpful. On top of that, all of them are very caring. They want to make sure that your health is taken care. If I had to tell another student why they should come here over going to an urgent care or something in Cape, um, one, the staff is very friendly and inviting. They genuinely care about the students at Cape, at SEMO. Um, not saying the other places in Cape don't, but they're more inviting and they want to get to know us. They work on campus. They love working with us. Two, it's on campus. You don't have to pay for transportation. You don't have to, you know, go out of your way. They're pretty lenient about making the schedule. They work really well with us. The relationship between me and Rachel is more like a very good friend. She's a very caring friend, actually. You know, she always makes sure that I take my medication. <laughs> when the first time uh, uh, when I was diagnosed and they put me on the medication, she always calls and check on me like, hey, did you take your medication? And uh, which is very helpful, but very, uh, like, I was touched with it because, you know, there's somebody who's caring for you. And as an international student, you left home and there's, you come to a different country where there's like nobody here for you, you know? And when there's someone start caring for you, it, it, really, it really touches your heart. Well, one day I was having a, a friendly conversation with the staff here, one of them is Rachel, and Rachel told me that I, most of the international students don't have the ability to communicate on the phone well, so she will wrote emails to us. She will write some emails to us because uh, well, it's more convenient and more uh, effective for, for both of the parties because, well, some of the international students don't have the, uh, you know, listening skills on the phone or they got nervous because it's kind of very professional vocabulary sometimes. I feel that too. Cause, so um, when I, whenever I hear some vocabulary I don't understand, I will, I will ask Richard to write it down for me or through email. I think it's pretty cool. We are open Monday through Friday, 8 to 4.30. The only time we close down during that time is 12 to 12.30 for lunch. We also are open in the summer and break times as well from 8 to 4, Monday through Friday. So we are here majority of hours. The main thing we do is we follow the CMO schedule. And so if offices are closed, we're usually closed. So major holidays, things like that. Thank you for watching. We look forward to helping you with any needs you may have. If we can't help you here, we can refer you to a specialist and have transportation to and from with no charge to the student or faculty or staff. We look forward to helping you. Give us a call, make an appointment.